So this is a pair of compasses. This is how you want to set it up. You want to have the pencil and the point exactly at the same level. OK, so when you put it on on your paper, they are exactly at the same place. You also want to make sure it's not too wobbly. Let me show you an example of one that is really wobbly. So this one here, one, I can see that the point isn't at the same. So I'm just going to adjust that one. And so I'm going to slide it carefully until the point, the two points, the pencil and the compass meet. Now, I always make sure I've got a spare pencil on um, here so I don't have to keep taking it off and putting it on again. But can you also see here that this is really wobbly? This one here holds its shape and it takes quite a lot of effort to move it in and out. Whereas here it takes so little effort and I can just wobble it. There is a screw just here. And so what you do is, is find somebody that's got a screwdriver. I've got a small screwdriver here and get ask them nicely if you can tighten this screw. So you tighten it and then you get to, to a uh, get it to be really uh, I say tight. Oh, I've just moved this pencil here as well. So I've now got it tight and I've got my pencil. It's not playing ball. I have to be really careful with this one. There we go. Nice and tight. Right. Let's have a have a go at using it. So if I need to draw a circle of radius three, I need a ruler. I need to measure. Now, I quite like putting my point actually into. Oh, that's not going to help you. I actually enjoy putting my rule, the, my point actually digging it into the ruler. So it, it actually stays still if I wobble it. Then what I need to do is I need to move this pencil up to here. So it's exactly on that three centimeter mark. Uh, maybe it's a little bit. No. Right, exactly on the three centimeter mark. So what I do then is I'm going to put my point into the center and that's where I'm going to put my pressure. I'm going to, to uh, put my pressure on there. And then what I do is I keep hold of this bit and I will turn it round. Now, it's a really good idea to practice particularly if you've not had a compass in your uh, pencil case for a while and you've just bought it for the exam, you can do it in two ways. So here I draw a circle and I'm putting most of my force on this bit and I'm dragging it round. I'm holding it at the top here and I'm sort of turning it round in my hand. Not a good idea to take it off the paper. Um, if if you find that you, it's slipping or if you find that it's not working very well, just rub it out and do it again. So this is a circle with radius three centimetres. If you had been asked for a diameter of uh, six centimetres, you would need to halve that. The other way I like to do this is I'll put the point in, but then I'll move the paper around instead. So I'll put my point in ooh, there and then I will turn my paper round and I know a lot of students really prefer this way oh stuck on my camera so either way that draws a circle of three centimeters <laughs>